welcome back to another episode of Soma. I finally figured out how to change language. <laughs> Yay, great. I, I, I missed the part in the game options. Yeah. Sorry. And I wanted to start directly the intro here because otherwise there will be sounds again and something will always interfere. Okay. I had to cut out the loading screen because it took awfully long. And we are here and I have enough of all those closed doors. Come on. Oh my god, it's so beautiful in here. Can I switch on the light? Oh nice. Finally it will make sense that I will narrate all those texts which we will find. Oh, give me some boo! I, 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 I didn't mean to, it was, oh my god, why, oh, nice photo. <laughs> Someone peed in his bed, apparently. What is this? <gasps> is it our Omni 2? Oh. Hmm, nope. What are all those things? Hmm. Apparently in this room isn't that much and so I go for... Catherine. Oh, finally. Yeah, Mark killed himself. Okay. There. The teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Toby. Get out of my way, Toby. Come on. I don't have the sound to close the door. Can I find his diary? Oh. Pavlina Martinelli. Nature of Identity. Okay. I don't know. Classified. Mr. Surrey, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WOW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fulfill, explore, ensure that... Uh, no, to fulfill, explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WOW from Alpha without co uh, outside interference. In case of any emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omnicron to forcefully eliminate any op opposition. But please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important costly affair and we hope to follow a steady development without sleep. Back. The Supervisor Board. Hmm. This dude must be important. What is this? Uh, I don't understand this. Yeah, there's a creep outside. There's definitely a creep outside, but I don't like the creep. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Looked important. Mm -hmm. What is this? Did you know that? The oh, a message. Did you know that the human body consists of up to seventy-five trillion? individual cells. They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days while others live a few years. Wow. We're not affected by their short lifespans as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. Hmm. I, I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, 
but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. Wow. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. Wow. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. Wow, wow. Did he just tell me I should kill myself? Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I am explained, this is the accomplished by causing to, uh, by ca causing to live as your scan is being completed. So, uh, I can't read his writing. So, at as uh, so sad, frightening Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into tearing guns and re and placing it in my mouth and placing it in my mouth Ooh. before being before seeing her when I know her announcement uh, announced completion I will lie uh, lie down quickly causing my uh, uh, causing my own desire wow when you discover the uh, truth behind my dealt uh, death know that's no tragedy to uh, oh fuck your writing seriously learn how to write boy robin brass oh yeah we met we killed her on the side What a nice thing she had, a flower. We're all dying anyway. Well, we're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Saring and the continuity. Wow, wow. People, you are depressing me. Kitty. Horses. Strange pictures. What is this? London. What is this? Now get out of my way, chair. You are way too heavy. Way too heavy. Oh. Who is that? <gasps> is this Catherine? A seagull. Amazing. What happens if I... Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. hate chairs. Seriously, they're all the time in my way. Okay, nothing here. Hmm. Oh yeah. I freaked out when here the light went out. Okay, let's go up here. I have bad feeling about it, but, you know, it's all the time here that we at every door will be something amazingly. Oh. What's this? That... 
Okay. This is where I did my scan. Wow. And all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Wow. Wow. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Munchi. This is interesting. This is our doctor. But David Munchi. How did this... What is this? Munchi. Subject name Munchi. Author Paul Berg. So someone made uh, made a legacy legacy scan of Munchi. What are legacy scans? Yeah, subject name Nanami. Great, but what are those people? Uh, Jared, Lito, or who? Simon. Kath, what is this? Why oh do you God! Have a file of me. You are one of Doctor Munchi's templates. A legacy scan. What does it mean? Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. So that's a relief. We're really still figuring just this out. So a brain it's scan. Freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your oh. recovery. Well, I feel excited. Ah, oh, yeah, Paul was his Can't friend. Can't wait to get back to the living. Wow. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. Wow. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. So, Simon Jarrett continued living and we're really just his copy. The model was sound. It should have worked. Oh it's God. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. That's weird. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up yeah. till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. Oh god, it's not very more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. Yeah. All that hope. Wasted. Oh god. So apparently Simon Jarrett died 2015, so he died in, in the same year when they scan? made this. They're scan. historic templates for AI construction. Any self respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Oh god, so we are a machine. But why we look so human? Huh. Uh, Strasky? Come in, I need help in the lab. The scan room. What, what happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, uh, maser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, oh, God. please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, oh, God. what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. You could. Ace it. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. <laughs> not even close. This looks not good. 
This looks like there's bl so much blood. Welcome to my place. When I started the Earth Project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Yeah, really great. Troubleshoot. Checking for source. Unable to connect to the mainframe. Please reset the router in the cell level wall or contact maintenance. Uh, I think there's no maintenance anymore here. What is this? Ooh, found something. What is this? Wow. Need to fix that mainframe connection. Great. This is where I would store the other stands. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter. Yeah. If that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. <laughs> That makes me feel much better. Yeah, your brain is not that big. For this, they don't need such a big scan. Fast. Let's... What is Damaged. in this? Hmm. Can I play with all of them? I won't rip all of... Oh! There is okay. something. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Wow. Yeah, the only real problem is with the mainframe. And I need to go down there and I know that there will be some creepy things. Hmm. Nothing really here to play with. And I have a memory going, but... Huh. What is this? This place is so untidy. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna cut this episode here and... If you enjoyed it, leave a like. I would really appreciate it and... Hopefully we see you in the next episode. Try to stay positive because I will and see you.